We have this antiderivative problem to do. It comes from 2.9, which means it should use one of the hyperbol inverse hyperbolic trig antiderivative forms. Those are on the right side of the screen. It may not look like that at first, so let's zoom in and see how we can change this around. Now I do have the final answer on the board, so it probably gives away which one we should be looking for in that list. Let's pretend like we can't see that at the moment. All right. We're used to square root of u squared plus or minus a squared, or a squared plus or minus u squared. So let's look at this e to the 4x and e to the 8x. So e to the 8x we can write as uh, a few different ways. We can write as e to the x to the 8th power, uh, because remember powers of powers are products right here. Uh, we could also write it as e to the x to the 2 times 4. And now you could bring either the 2 inside or the 4 inside, either one. Let's bring the 4 inside, so you can write it as e to the 4x whole thing squared. When you see it like this, now it's the square of what's on top. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is let u equal e to the 4x du, remember the derivative e to the x is e to the x, so it's e to the 4x times the derivative of 4x, which is 4, and of course du dx. Jeez. Okay. We, the only thing we don't have, we have e to the 4x dx, we just don't have the extra 4. So we'll move the 1 4 to the other side. There we go. We're ready for our u sub. So integral e to the 4x divided by square root. Now e to the 8x, I'm writing as e to the 4x squared minus 9 is 3 squared. And now we're going to make the u sub, so we get the 1 fourth. The entire numerator be just becomes du, because e to the 4x dx is 1 quarter du. And then we have square root, u squared minus 3 squared. In this form, it should be really obvious what antiderivative we have, even if you did see what was down here as the actual answer. So we have u squared minus a squared. Just remember the bottom two here have an extra u outside, so it's not gonna be one of those. It's the very first one, it looks like, yep. Hyperbolic cosine. All right, this is, now the extra one fourth, that's not part of the one over a, that's just the one fourth that's out front of the original integral. Now, antiderivative formula, I'm just copying off the table on the right, cosh inverse, a is three. It's not nine, you're looking at a squared when you originally see the nine. So a is three, u is somewhere, e to the four x, divided by a is three, <clears throat> plus c, right there. That should be it, uh, a lot of the Homework problems have a plus C already built in. Uh, I think this one does as well. Here we go. Hyperbolic R cosine e to the 4x over 3 with a 1 fourth in front. There we go. And that's what we're looking for. Remember, when you are typing your homework uh, answers in, you do have to use arc cosine hyperbolic, not cos inverse hyperbolic. So you can, you can absolutely write it like this, but you can't enter your answer like that.